Good morning. Oh, yo, good morning. I'm going to uh, pick up my cabinets, put them in the back of the van, and bring them to the new house. At that point, I'll put them in the basement. It'll be a nice warm place to uh, finish them up. And then I can reinstall them back in the van when everything's all done up. And then we'll finish this project. I'm watching a show called For All Mankind. It, it covers basically five, five year or decade jumps across the NASA space program. Well, it looks like we have an accident. Traffic. Anyways, you follow these characters uh, from graduating aeronautics school or engineering school or whatever, joining NASA. Some of them are, you know, in, in more dire straits than others. Some are families of astronauts, you know, so they have a leg up. Some are, you know, uh, illegal immigrants that are children of illegal immigrants across the border. All sorts of different things. And you see these characters from their inception, you know, from, from a very pivotal point in their lives, a very beginning, you'd say. Although, I mean, beginnings have multiple meanings, but the beginnings of this story, and it's pretty early, you know, in their lives. And it shows the strife they go through, the big forks in the road that they go through, and opportunities, opportunities lost, tragedy, you know, the whole nine, it's a drama, obviously, so there's an abundance of tragedy at NASA. Tragedy usually revolving around, like, blown up rockets and lost friends. But then the season ends, and there's like five seasons I'm on so far, but the season ends, and then the beginning of the next season is sort of a major time jump. And for the most part, the characters from the previous season follow on. Some of them, actually, I think most of them are still in it unless they die. And it shows them at this other stage, progressing forward. And you see their struggles, their triumphs, their losses, their tragedies. And then the season ends, and it's another jump. And it seems like these people some of them follow the same trajectory. Some of them are shucking and jiving. But they all become sort of evolved people, different people in a lot of different ways. But the through line is still there. You can still see their their core as a character in the show. I like these shows. They, they show the progress of time. They make you feel the weight of time. You see people who didn't do much, not do much. You see people who push forward and failed, excel. You see people die early. It really makes you think, you know. And it's a good story, I mean, for the most part. I feel like it's sort of jumping the shark here on the, I think it's the fifth season. It makes me think about my life and this chapter, the van chapter, you know, that has lasted a lot longer than I had intended. It stalled me out in a period of time that I felt, I feel, is somewhat ir irrecoverable. Ir ir irrecoverable? Ir irrecoverable? I just want to finish this project and have it propel me forward. I, I don't want to have a time skip, which is sort of what this channel has been. Uh, just sort of fallen into a, you know, it's made me also appreciate the the power of suburban American life. It sort of pulls you in and gives you a comfortable pillow to lay on. Hopefully picking up these cabinets and putting them in the van, bringing them here and taking them downstairs will be a, a move towards a brighter, more uh, quick uh, wrap up of this project moving forward. My brother's gonna help me, you'll see him in a bit. Ugh, my throat and stuff and my my health has been uh, really bad the last few months I just cannot I can't I can't shake this uh, this this sickness yeah that's it I'm just gonna do nice and running astray yep that's it that's nice and nice and light nothing too crazy you guys remember my brother this is my brother hey guys <laughs> welcome to Michigan 
It went and got cold. <laughs> this is the Michigan's least favorite season for people our age. Well, if I'm coming back, no need to load up anymore as long as that's secure. Yeah, that's cool. I'll meet you over there for grab my bag. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Nice to see cabinets and things in the back of the van, even if it's just <clears throat> temporary. Hopefully it doesn't slosh around too much. Andrew's gonna drive with me and be my watcher. Did you grab my coffee? No, where was it? Okay, so, cabinets are down here now. I'll have to put the drawers in. I'm gonna take my brother back home, but it's kinda cool to have it all here. Now I can start, you know, I can be here at the house. I used to have to travel all the way back and forth to work on the van, but now I can work on it right here in my own basement. I have a basement, that's pretty cool.